Hello everyone. So we are at Diane Mold Exhibition 2024 at Bombay Exhibition Center. We have landed up straight at the innovative stall of Fanuc, where they have a lot many solutions to demonstrate for the Diane Mold sector. In conversation with me is uh, Mr. Vinay Kumar from Fanuc. So we are going to take you all in to yes. get more information about what all the demonstrations have been done by Fanuc. So just talking, um, uh, you know, uh, at the beginning, sir. How Fanuc plays the role in the diamond mold industry? If you can just uh, elaborate a bit. Yeah. See, uh, Fanuc, uh, basically a Japanese company. Uh, we are into factory automation and industrial robotics. Uh, uh, in factory, apart that, apart from that, we also have products uh, which are in machines, which is our third vertical. Uh, in in machines, we have three different types of product, which basically are very uh, much uh, very close to diamond mold uh, uh, this one, operations. We have in wire cut EDM, we have in uh, machining center, and we have an injection molding machine. Uh, in terms of the injection molding machine, it's an uh, all electric injection molding machine, uh, and uh, which is uh, uh, basically uh, interfaced uh, in our case with uh, robot, and which gives you a complete solution. And uh, the most attractive the, uh, point here is the robot interface is pretty seamless. And the whole control uh, of the robot, and we have a lot of accessories which is fitted into it, and the total control of all these just happens from one screen. So the ease of operation. So Fanuc is primarily uh, we have three important uh, uh, factors. One we talk about reliability, which is then we talk about predictability and ease to repair. So in these, if you look at these three major factors, I think all our product lines are just apt for it. So we will take you to the injection molding. Sure. Where we will uh, have little more details from my colleague Preetam. Hello, Mr. Preetam. How Hello. are you? Yeah, I'm good. So I hope the exhibition is doing quite yeah, good for you. Yeah, uh, We would like to know more about this robo shot machine, which has been on talk of the, uh, you know, exhibition. And if you can elaborate on that. Yeah. What are the key features of this machine and how it is helping the diamond mold industry? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, first of all, I'll uh, thanks to every visitors basically uh, to show their interest actually to know the more technology of our machines which we are displaying here today. So this was uh, like we have installed uh, a 130 ton machine, fully electric machine, and in that we are showing the displaying a 2K concept basically. So this two color concept with our own uh, second injection unit, which was uh, like very flexible one. and to know more about this flexibility i request more visitors to come and to show them this technology how it is more flexible and uh, apart from this actually we are uh, showing the more technology of interfacing the peripheral uh, which we have uh, uh, kept with this machine and uh, how ease of this uh, interfacing of this peripheral with the latest technology so these things are a very core of interest actually with the very easy uh, manner how they can uh, access it in a single controller so that is the technology which we want to uh, like to show to the all visitors basically so this is how and uh, apart from that we have uh, installed our automations also like uh, ease of automation to uh, get uh, segregate the good part and bad part through our robot with the ir vision camera so this is how what we have displayed so we welcome the visitors to come more this is the third day yeah. we have a successful uh, day you know on the last two days also absolutely and uh, innovative you know uh, features which we can expect in this particular machine for the diamond mold sector but we also one more uh, feature i would like to explore with you to get more information about it is the unloading robot which i could see at the back exactly. for this yes. particular machine so exactly. if you can get us more information we can go there in you can sure. elaborate on that sure, particular sure, aspect sure. so uh, this is the automations actually it's a industrial robot alarmate and uh, this is what we are actually our talking about it was taking uh, the parts from the uh, the mold and it is segregating through this lr ir vision camera and uh, the bad part whatever uh, like uh, the dimensional uh, uh, accuracy which we have maintain uh, need to be maintained basically so it will be going to our good part and uh, segregated uh, the bad part in the another bin so this is the technology we are showing here actually uh, from our industrial robot thank you mr preetam yeah. for this information now yeah. we are very keen to know about what's inside uh, would like to invite mr vinay uh, yeah. once again yeah please thank you So yeah. where are you taking us next? Yeah, we will uh, next move on to our uh, robot drill, which is a compact, uh, high-speed machining center, and which is a very, very apt product uh, when we talk in terms of die mold. Uh, I will have my uh, colleague uh, Somnath who will uh, take you in the in detail about how robot drill is and how 
it is the best product i would say in case of going for a dye and mold operation sure uh, hello morning. mr somnath good morning to you uh, hope the exhibition is doing good for you and we have got to know about this particular robo drill machine dedicated to the dye and mold sector in precision so uh, what would you like to elaborate about the feature of this particular machine yeah uh, as far as this machine is concerned first of all it's a very compact machine one of the most compact machines that are available in the market secondly the most important part of this machine is uh, in spite of this being so compact the precision of this machine is very high out there so you can manufacture or machine a mold uh, in and around 6 to 7 microns you can machine this this is very important and most important is uh, because when i talk about dye and mold uh, what happens that the cycles of dye and mold uh, runs for approximately 6 hours 10 hours 12 hours and it become very important with the in, uh, i mean with uh, the increase of the power cost out there so this machine consumes one of the lowest powers in the industry as far as the other machines are concerned out there because the input power of this machine is hardly uh, 12 kilowatts that is done as compared to any other competitor machine which is approx 25 or 30 kilowatts that is the input power that it gives so it's a big saving out there and there are many advanced features which are ai enabled in this machine which helps this machine to be uh, one of the highest precision machines that are available in the market very compact the amount of space that it covers if you see Absolutely. very less because nowadays if i talk about space is also a cost out there the reliability of the machine is very very high and that is one of the main usp of this machines right now and when i talk about the operational cost the vis a vis the quality and the cycle time that we achieve we are one of the best in the market right now absolutely and this uh, multiple tool holder is what the speciality is what i can see and recognize so what is the uh, usb of this yes. particular uh, this feature? looks unique i believe the others right. don't have see when you talk about the uh, other machines they will be having their uh, tool holders located at the site so when they pull the tools it takes a proc 5 to 6 seconds out there whereas we can change the tool we call it cut to cut time because the tool is cutting after the cutting it is going back to the turret front turret we call it a front turret okay and again this is coming back for cutting this total time is hardly 1.6 seconds as compared to our competitors 5 to 6 seconds that they take so it is also a big saving as far as the cycle time is concerned and that is how you are saving the energy right like yeah, you said yes yes yeah we are saving the energy in two ways one is of course this part second is the motors that are there those are all alpha series motors of fanuc uh, one of the best uh, motors that are available in the market and it has been tuned in such a way see if you see our size of the tables are comparatively small so these are being dedicated for smaller components out there which are being mounted and accordingly the motors are being tuned in a such a way that uh, you get uh, the consumption of the energy is much much less as compared because you don't require when we talk about other machine tool builders they make a generic machine wherein you can mount a bigger component also smaller components also but we are very clear about our positioning we are going to go for a smaller molds we would like to machine the electrodes copper electrodes out there so wherein you don't require a very high powered motor so under right. that circumstances when you are machining those small components in generic machines out there the consumption of the power is much higher because the table load carrying capacity of this machine is 300 kg whereas my competitor is approx 1000 kg so right. when you are light you can always be agile out there so if you are heavy you cannot be agile Absolutely. so when i am light my consumption is less so it is very fine tuned for smaller components out there thank you mr somnath for this detailed information and uh, hope this machine is now you know uh, powerful manufacturing processes in the dye and mold sure, sector sure, sure, sure. so uh, we are going to head towards the next innovation yes. so mr vinay we uh, it was wonderful to know about this particular uh, robot drill machine yes. now what is the next uh, yeah, innovation now we will just uh, take you through the, our next uh, product line which we call it as robocut uh, robocut is primarily a high precise uh, via edm that is electrical discharge machine okay. and uh, just to take you through a little more in depth about it i would like to call uh, my colleague uh, uh, krishna indu banerji who will uh, explain the key features of this machine 
which makes it stand apart from competition. Absolutely. Hello. So we we are very keen to know about uh, this particular robo cut machine which has been presented here. We would like to have more uh, enhanced details about the features of this particular machine and how this is hel helping the dye and mold sector. So if you can elaborate. Okay. Good morning. Thanks. Basically, so this robo cut wire wire cut EDM machine in fundamental is a non conventional cutting process. Basically, to you use to manufacture precision molds or sheet metal components and dyes. Basically. So wherein this is in a high precision range, you can go results of plus minus two microns is the accuracy range which you can achieve for making high precision molds and dies. The surface finish you can achieve from this machine is up to 0.1 microns RA, less than 0.1 micron RA, which is very good, better than the grinding finish itself. Now this machine is a machine which is made in Japan, 100% made in Japan. We have no other manufacturing base other than Japan, so it's a 100% Japanese machine made for India, made for the world. And so if you see the machine, it's very simple, very com very unique with the wire drive system for the machine itself, wherein you can thread wires at the fastest wire threading machine. It can thread the wire in just 10 seconds flat. This is one of the fastest wire threading system which we have basically on the machine. This helps you to reduce your non-cutting. You have more productive time when you have a, you have use the machine for 24 hours in a day you have more productive time so it, it turns out to give you more productivity you have achieved more production that's the main usp of the machine and we offer and lifetime support for this machine as long as you are using the machine we are committed to give you provided services and space support for you this is the main usp we this is the smallest size of the machine it's an 400 by 300 size machine within 250 mm stroke and you can cut tapers up to 30 degree on this machine we have an other two models which are bigger sizes. This is 600 by 400 and 800 by 600. We do have, a, have our technical centers at Bangalore headquarters as well as the zonal offices at Pune as well as at Manesar, wherein the customers can come to us. We can have technical interactions. We can demonstrate the machine capabilities. Also do some pre-sale trials to prove the machine and then deliver the machine to them. This is really wonderful, you know, and this is how you build the trust between the customers yeah. where they have a chance to get the insights about the machine in a prior and then probably you can have a long-term relationship. That's great. Thank you so much for letting us know about this wonderful innovation. And it's we would like to move ahead uh, with what next uh, do yeah. Fanuk have at their booth for the and mold sector. Mr. Vinay, where thank are we you. heading next? Yeah, thanks. Uh, so we will just take you to our next product line, which is uh, basically our key uh, product line, which we call as factory automation. Uh, these are uh, computerized numeric controllers. Uh, they not only uh, power our machines, but we uh, basically supply these uh, CNCs to most of the OEMs who then build their machines on, on it. Uh, with that, like uh, that's what uh, happens here. So we would like to emphasize one specific controller which we have displayed here, which we call it as the FS0IMF series, um, which is uh, very predominantly used in machining centers by many of the Indian OEMs who position these machines for the dye mold industries. So I will ask my colleague uh, Srijit to elaborate on some key features of this. And we also have a software known as Digital Twin. So he will just take you through these two product lines. Sure. And then we will just try to move on further. Sure. Uh, hello, Mr. Srijit. We, yeah. we are very keen. So we always know Fanuk from uh, the automation business or the automation part of it because everywhere we see Farooq in the factory automation. So how uh, effectively, uh, you know, this automation business is growing here in Farooq and what more advancement you have for the dye and mold sector? Yes. See, uh, basically, uh, considering from dye and mold segment, okay, uh, the basic requirement for a new set is a better uh, surface finish or a quality, surface quality. And always it is a trade-off between surface quality, cycle time, and the surface finish. Okay. It's a trade-off. So we want to uh, arrive at that process parameter which suits our requirement. Either it is a, what we can tell, aerospace component where shoe mold, where cycle time is very important. Okay, so there are different requirements in this Diane mold segment. So uh, our CNC, this dedicated CNC for Diane mold, have the basic means, the functions required for a Diane mold cutting. Like the block processing time or the look at features are very well uh, loaded in this CNC. Okay, so we can uh, take care of 99% of uh, what we call diamond features with this CNC and still we have the higher end CNC on our lineup. 
So here we are displaying the basic CNC for the die and mold actually. That's amazing. And now moving towards the fun of digital twin, digital which twin. is uh, something again a new thing which you have come up with. What do you have to say about this? See, this is a new initiative which we started. So basically, user will uh, if you if you want to evaluate a component, he has to do cutting on a machine. So which calls for the material wastage as well as the power consumption will be there. So this digital twin uh, basically is that we are simulating it in a digital platform. Okay, so that's why we call it as a digital twin. The concept itself is that actually. So here, if the operator have uh, the end user have a program, so basically he can uh, check the program in this software where the program is correct or not before applying to a controller. So here the program optimization will happen. Then here the surface estimation of the program what we used. So we can estimate the surface. So here we are showing an iPod. Which is basically machined on a our robot drill uh, machine. So the same program we are correcting in this toolpath optimizer, and this is with 15 micron cam tolerance, and this is with one micron cam tolerance. So we can see the surface finish difference. So here you can see some scratches, which got eliminated here actually. So because of this program corrections. So like that, without using a machine, the user can simulate the surfaces. This is absolutely, uh, you yes. know, new and amazing feature which yes. you have brought down to the Fanuk uh, catalog. We would say, and uh, thank you so much for getting us some more information about the digital business and automation business of Fanuk. Now, uh, I would like to have Mr. Vinay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we will uh, next take you through through a very exciting product. Uh, of course, robots. Robots always are very uh, exciting for every individual and uh, we have something ha known as a collaborative robot which is on display here uh, the, mo the advantages of a collaborative robot it is, goes by its name primarily you can work along with it yes. so that's a kind of advantage you get to have with a collaborative robot and Farnok I would say is the only company which has the best range of robots in this collaborative robots so we will have our uh, colleague Ajay who will take you through a little more detail on the product and also demonstrate to you how easily you could program this in fact a small child also could in fact handle this product so over to you Ajay yeah so, uh, hello sir so to start with I would say everywhere every exhibition every sector we found Fanuk Cobot to be aligned something the other way to the machine right which yeah. is making the life easier for the people bringing an automation to the shop floor so how this collaborative robot cobot so is helping the businesses yeah basically uh, cobot is basically used where robot and operator was, has to work together okay and we have widest range uh, starting from 5 kg up to 50 kg robots and uh, it is very easy to operate like uh, icon based programming is there so this is like the teach pendant what we are displaying here so all the icons are there, you can drag it to the timeline and in no time your program will be uh, with specific force if you stop, robot will stop, it will uh, it will not move from this position. So it is very safe for the operator like to use. So if I put it, it will stop. Stop. And easily you can drag it to the point and then uh, uh, you can make a program. So it can be easily uh, moved to the point, you can uh, take it to this particular point. And then record the point. Then again, you can drag it to the uh, different point where then you want to drop that. Drop the point. And then record the point and again move it. And your in no time your program will be ready. Yes. So this is very easy. Easy and like a person who don't know much about the robot programming, he can also operate the robots. Definitely, I I have um, you know personally gone through this particular process. It's very easy, very user friendly is what we can say and. Yeah. Absolutely, these cobots are making the life easier for the uh, material handling or to the... Yeah, a lot of applications. A lot of applications of this cobot. Inspection, dispensing, Absolutely. Uh, assembly operation, it can be easily done with this collaborative robot. Absolutely. Thank you for letting us know about this uh, cobot and uh, thank you so much. We wish you the best for this particular show. Thank you. So, coming to you, Mr. Yeah. Vinay, I think... Yeah, we would just like to take you through our last product line. In fact, it's not a product line. Uh, we are in the uh, in part of the capital equipment industry and it's very important for us to ensure that we support our customers. I wouldn't be wrong in telling that Fanuk is the only company which offers lifetime support. That is, you could use a product till the day you would like to use a product. So just to give you a very brief outline of what we are in service and our ideology is service first. 
and uh, we'll just have this uh, small uh, uh, snippet on how we really uh, go with our service our operations we will uh, uh, have a short talk from saurabh hi saurabh hi. Uh, absolutely like mr vinay said you know we all work in the mechanical field where service is the most and major important part which everyone before buying any machine would look after right, right. and faruk is prominently contributing to serving the uh, quality and good services to the customers correct right so how uh, let us know how faruk is uh, effectively doing that yeah thank you vinay and uh, first of all like vinay told uh, our policy is lifetime support to our all customers for all the product lines so we are doing this and our policy is service first and uh, uh, see we are uh, giving customer support in three ways first is service that is the field call that engineer goes to customer places second is repair support if customer wants to get repair something we have repair facility in uh, mumbai uh, for west zone we have uh, repair facility in pune and th- third is spare part facility so we provide spares based on customers uh, requirement and uh, here you can see we have uh, shown our uh, some products where we are doing the service and uh, repairs so basically this uh, crt uh, that is uh, 20, around 20 to 30 years old which is replaced by exactly one which is with new technology that is led or lcd mounted second is a robot teach pendant uh, that we repair uh, in our repair factory and third is motor overhauling like you can see that uh, before uh, repair what is the condition of uh, old motor and after repairing how it gets almost the 80% uh, quality of new one absolutely and uh, here are the tools which we have shown uh, these tools we use in value added services during service uh, visits uh, uh, supporting for uh, health checkup of the machines so like we have a uh, different machines so different machines requires different tools so we do the health checkup and uh, checking of uh, those machines with these tools yeah. thank you sir for uh, letting us know about your service uh, you. business Uh, again i would say that it's the most important thing which we have talked about after hearing to each and every innovation which you are giving to the customer it's the back of it so uh, thank you so much thank for letting so us know about that so that's yeah. what we have thank and, you mr uh, vinay you for this much. opportunity uh, yeah. to explore fanox booth it was wonderful to know about each and every technique which you are giving to the manufacturing sector with the advanced solutions so we wish you the best for the show sure. rest of the show and thank you so much for giving yeah. your time thank thanks you very a lot much. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot everyone